you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot. You can shoot, huh? <laughs> ah, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Evening, Arthur. Good evening, Arthur. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Very good, we were getting low. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make Holy something nice for you. What is in this? I'm frightened, Hosea. Real frightened. Of what? 
Pinkerton's bounty. Good for you. Bad situation. Reckon that's me toasted in the home. I know, my dear. What are we How gonna are do? you, young Is Tilly? Dutch, I, I mean, Reverend he's Swanson. always found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the more endless plan. I care about it. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Good evening. Are you okay, Reverend? Evening. I'm sober, if that's what you mean. I've been on quite... Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. Sure, more or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. been isolated for so long they started talking in their own weird dialect they really don't like outsiders especially on their turf <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job don't you big place right here 
right. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. me, Arthur. Okay, stick close now. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can hardly get all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.
Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good.
ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder, that kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. Well, if they're in New Hanover, I'll find them. Poster says alive. A-L-I-V-E. Pound them to hell. Idiot. God damn it! I know. Enough of the prologue. Let's get made. I'll be done ten minutes ago and had time to clean my boots. <laughs> You pair of reprobates. Let's get out of here. Well, let's I see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy. Come on, girl. Mr. Care for a ride? Heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Hosea everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. So, how is everything?
for that. Good for you. How's it going? Okay, Mr. Pearson. Coming. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. Enough. 
Hello, Arthur. It. But you can. Well, I could. If I chose to. I've just not chosen to. Maybe one of us will teach you. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Soon, yeah. Okay. Before you come any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? You wanted money. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Just how was it looking? Little. You already owe me a lot. I am not, not good. Well. I think I'm dying. I need. I, I need. If you are dying, how do you plan to repay me? Oh, you are a heartless little swine. You really are! It is for his own good, Mr. Morgan. I'm sure. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, let's go then. 
So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> You've had a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Wait to get started. Just by the water there? You mean? But first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now. Cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Damn it, didn't get him. Bad luck. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There, got him. Fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Just be patient. My arms are tired. You're all right. Look, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm 
gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. Sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. One's a blue girl. <laughs> Not bad. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was... More of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. Why you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <clears throat> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yep.
Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. It... Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.
Just hold on there, girl. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. Come on now. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Hmm. Guess you found some after all. Good for you, friend. Yeah, barely size of a pebble. Don't know why I got so excited. Okay, girl. Yep.
We've done all we can for you. Yeah, come back for your money at the end of the week. I can't pay you in full for today, of course. The rest of you, stop gawking. Get back to work. Come on! And you there. Thanks for the help. <sighs> Thank you for your help, mister. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <sighs> That foreman's a real bastard, ain't he? Here, this should help you get back on your feet. Thanks, mister. You're a good man. Oh. You gonna be all right there? I think so. All right. Take care of yourself. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here? You're like some crazy hermit. Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said. The end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Masters got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. Always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. 
making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Hold up on this ridge. There, girl. Yeah. Here we go. It should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. <laughs> How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Here, find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! Get to you now. 
is it? Every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lot of brain for one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> 